It was Saturday morning, 7.30, day after dropping Mark off. And we are still on Salmon, me and Miranda. We just car camped up here. Um, we dropped him off last night and he went home. Still driving home probably. But now yeah, we decided to stay the night and then we're gonna check out Dutch Country Market. There's a small Amish community up here. On our way up north to drop Mark off in Salmon, Idaho at the Amish community where he was meeting his buddies to drive back to Indiana, we stopped at this little stage st or uh, freight station which I guess is kind of like a stage station anyway they would store horses and I guess swap horses for the state freight trains that were coming through and uh, they would feed the people and sometimes uh, let them sleep there for the night it's called Whiskey Springs Idaho um, it's really cool the barn has pretty much collapsed as you can see um, there's a little well house I think that's been rebuilt or a spring house and then the house obviously has uh, for sure has a new roof on it um, I think this was the later 1900s maybe early or later 1800s maybe early 1900s um, there's still water trickling out uh, we didn't drink any but I'm sure it's pure and cold yeah it's kind of cool the building was definitely definitely well built from what I could tell and uh, the house was and then the inside it had a few different rooms. It had um, some kind of thick wallpaper, maybe painted over a few times. Um, I don't think it was plaster, if I remember right. It, it did have looked like an upstairs loft area. Maybe it was just used as an attic. And obviously, a stove in the middle. But yeah, pretty primitive. Pretty cool. So there's some plaques that were there. Uh, that you can read, you can pause the video as, as you know, so you can read it. If you don't want to read it, you can fast forward. Here's my brother Mark picking on Miranda, chasing her with a cow patty. No, don't Mark. I hate that stuff. First. It's just dried up cow poop. It's not going to hurt you. Cow patty. 1800s cow patty. Pioneer fuel. Yep. <laughs> it's probably not that old. You are short. So we just dropped Mark off in Salmon, Idaho. He's catching a ride home with his buddies, the ones he came out here with. Sad to see him go. I had a blast hanging out with him, being men, pushing ourselves to the limits. But the fun always comes to an end and life goes back to normal. Anyway, me and Miranda are now here and we're gonna stay the night, just car camping. Mm -hmm. Then we might explore some stores in Idaho. We get to see an Amish country market. Um, Maybe a shot of an Amish house that is beautiful. Country. Probably wouldn't be allowed in Indiana. Especially not in the really strict sports and trooper or really strict Amish communities. guys salmon is beautiful I want to move up here I don't know if I can convince the wife 
the way the houses are selling for in Idaho. Mm, maybe we'll sell ours and move. I don't know. Mom doesn't want to move. <laughs> I know. Why not? Um, because she has a coffee shop. She loves where we live, and she hates moving. It was Saturday morning, 7:30, day after dropping Mark off. Oh, we are still on salmon. Me and Miranda. We just car camped up here. Um, we dropped him off last night and he went home. Still driving home probably. But now yeah, we decided to stay the night and then we're gonna go check out Dutch Country Market. There's a small Amish community up here. We're gonna go check out their store. Maybe get a shot of a beautiful house they built. They're kind of a new order Amish community. Um, and then maybe check out a few other stores and then head back home. Salmon is beautiful. Me and Miranda both want to move up here. Still want to move up here. Mm -hmm. You still want to move up here? No comment. Mom probably doesn't. Let's get up. Let's go get some coffee. community in Salmon, Idaho is a small community. Uh, I was talking to the Amish man at the store, I'm assuming the owner, I don't know, but he said that the community is um, has 20 families in it. And uh, that means that, you know, although it's small, it's growing because I talked to uh, Dave Yoder who lives up there. Um, he's originally from LaGrange County, Indiana, moved out to Salmon, Idaho, about the same time I moved to Twin Falls in 2013. At that time, there was he was the seventh family moving in. So it has grown by 13 families since 2013. I don't know if it continue. It'll continue growing. Um, the food was good at the store. We bought some a little bit of breakfast and some donuts. Uh, the, I talked to some locals in Salmon. They loved the store too. Um, I guess it's popular. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Go check it out if you get a chance. Lots of bulk foods. Look at all that. You want sunflower seeds with no shell? And no shell. Look at those clocks. Mom and Dad have one of these. It's for the July colors. Yeah. You can see that they put something on top of it. No. Hmm? Can we please get some peanuts? Yeah, you can get some peanuts. Tear the bag. Of all the things you want, put a scoop in there. A couple scoops, two scoops maybe. Put two scoops in there. What's your favorite thing about salmon so far? The shopping. Really? Where'd you shop? Family Dollar! Oh my gosh, you shopped at Family Dollar in Salmon, Idaho. With all these shops around here. We're waiting for rags and wags. To open. And then we'll head home. And then what? And then... Life we'll... goes back to normal, huh? Yep, and then one day when none of us are busy, we'll come out here and camp. On the way home, we are, we're going to stop at a hobo cave. A house whatever um, dugout dick built I guess he had a couple of them along this route along this river salmon river between chalice and Idaho and uh, we are at one of them it looks really cool um, he lived oh, 
he was here from like the 60s and then died in 2010 eventually. So uh, the government took the land and now we have some signs and info. So let me flip you guys around. This looks really cool. could use to patch it. There's a dead rock chuck. But uh, yeah, these all these rocks are all built up for the road. Back there, it's kind of hard to. I'm getting just getting reflections, and then the room. Oh, is that inside of it? Actually, like the concrete floor. And the room and a window back there. I bet he added on to it later. Smile, smile. Well, that's actually wooden. So I got a stove and everything in there. Uh -huh. Yep. Okay. And then, this is an old refrigerator. I don't know if he used it or not, probably. Just hanging out the side. And spider webs everywhere. Can't see it kitchen sink so you did have a sink there's an old style wood stove back there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. anyway so hold dug out Dick Richard Zimmerman's house it'd be kind of cool living there I could do it if the spider webs were gone could you do it Maybe it's time we get back to living like he did. Shun all electricity. Hey, you never know. Shun all electricity if you wanted. What? He could have got electricity if he wanted it. He didn't want it. He was smart. Living the simple life. Right alongside that mountain. <laughs> 